Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about five things that you should and shouldn't do when you have natural hair. Now before you watch this video, make sure you go and watch this video to see how I went natural without having to do the big chop. Now let's get started into the video. Now the first thing you shouldn't do, I feel like most people who are natural or are transitioning to becoming natural know already, but I'm just going to reiterate it just so it kind of sticks into your head and that is to never sleep with your hair down when i first started my natural hair journey i would just sleep with my hair down and i would always wonder why my washing goals wouldn't last and then i found out that it's because my hair was rubbing against my pillowcase so instead of sleeping with your hair down try putting it up into a pineapple this reduces the amount of hair that is being touched by your pillowcase and then that will also make your washing goals last longer what i do to make sure that my washing goals stay for the most amount of time is i not only put my hair up in a pineapple but i also wrap it up in a silk scarf and then i sleep on two silk pillowcases the second thing that you shouldn't do is touch your hair too much i realized that when i was washing my hair every day when i was styling my hair every day it made it so my washing goes wouldn't last as long and my hair would just get frizzy by day two the less manipulation you do to your hair the longer your washing goals will last and the more definition you'll have what i do now is if i'm not going to do anything at all I'll just leave my hair up the whole day. That way, not only am I not manipulating it, but since it's up all day, when I do decide to let it down, I have more volume. Now the third tip I actually didn't know until maybe halfway through my natural hair journey, and that is to never get your hair cut wet. If you have curly or kinky hair, you know the shrinkage is real. And what your hair looks like when it's wet it's definitely not gonna look the same when it's dry. So why would you cut your hair when it's wet instead of when it's dry? For example, when my hair is wet, it is all one length. And now that it's dry, you can see that there are some parts of my hair that are just longer than the rest. If I were to cut my hair when it's wet instead of when it's dry, these parts of my hair would never be the same length as this part of my hair. When you cut your hair dry, you can see the natural state of your hair therefore you'll be able to cut it all the same length if i were to cut my hair now i would be able to see how long all of my hair is naturally and figure out what parts i do and don't want to cut now this tip kind of applies to all different types of hair but i'm really kind of homing in on curly and kinky hair and that is to not shampoo all of your hair at once when you shampoo your hair try to only shampoo your scalp and when you're rinsing out the shampoo let it run down into the rest of your hair curly and kinky hair is naturally extremely dry and if you decide that you want to shampoo your strands that'll strip even more of the natural oils from your hair making it even drier so just let the shampoo run down through the rest of your hair when you're rinsing it and that will clean your hair enough that it will take out the previous products that you had in your hair but not enough that it'll strip your hair from the oils now honestly i don't really follow this last tip but i'm going to tell you guys anyways and that is to not wash your hair in hot water i love hot showers and i know it's not good for my skin i know it's not good for my hair but I do it anyways. If you've ever taken a hot shower, you know how dry your skin can be after. So imagine what that's doing to your hair. Instead of washing your hair in hot water, try and do it in cold water instead because not only will that close your cuticles, but it will also add shine to your hair. Now those are my five do's and don'ts for natural hair. I hope you guys enjoyed them. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to go watch this video on three things you should know before you go natural, this video on things that I learned throughout my natural hair journey, and this video on me testing my boyfriend on natural hair. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and leave a comment down below any tips that you didn't already know. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!